I want to look at a weld with a centerline crack in it. And what I want to do, I want to measure the through wall of this crack. This is a simulated, uh, not the scale drawing, of a weld with a centerline crack in it. And this is an exaggeration, but it's a, I'm going to use a 60 degree transducer to examine the body of the weld. And uh, this weld does have a centerline crack in it. And I'm going to use the 6 dB drop method to uh, size, through wall size, this crack. What I'll do, I'll get this signal at 50% uh, or 80% full screen height. And then move the transducer in or out to catch the tips. And when the signal drops to half the value or 6 dB, that's the point that I'll mark as the end of the crack. So I'll plot it on a, a to scale drawing, but um, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to do the 6 dB drop using a 60 degree transducer and a uh, wedge. And my transducer is a 5 megahertz quarter inch diameter. Uh, the 5 megahertz is a is a very good uh, uh, for resolution. So let's take a look and. Uh, Look at this weld, and right here, right there, I'm seeing there's a centerline crack. I'm catching it on my second leg. Coming up, I'm in the second leg. This is the ID. Mid wall is the ID or the bottom of the weld, and this is the top of my weld. So, right there is my crack. Let me uh, do a transverse uh, scan. Get some more, a uh, couple over here. Let me do a transverse scan of this crack and uh, see it has some facets. Let me put a little more uh, uh, gain to it. But as I kind of uh, rotate the probe, you see the facets and it drops off quite rapidly, uh, meaning that it's, it's a planar type of defect. Um, you see a distinct stop point. There's a stop point, start, and stop. So if I run perpendicular to the weld, I'm sticking a little bit, we can see it jump up and down. Uh, we can see the, the, um, the start. Distinctive start, stop, is distinctive start. So let's uh, pick this guy up. And right about there, I'm peeking up, and it's showing that um, I'm using the X value, my transducer, my beam index point is here, and the front of my wedge is a quarter inch, I put that X value in, so it's telling me that my defect is 1.11 inches from the front of my wedge. 1.11 inch puts me right in the center of the weld. And... At this point, it's saying I'm 0.46 inches deep. This is a 0.625 inch thick uh, uh, plate. So right now, I'm at an 80 degree, uh, excuse me, at 80 percent full screen height. And let me push the probe forward, and I will catch the bottom. I want to take this down until it's at a 6 dB drop, or right about 40 percent full screen height, right about there. I'm going to freeze this guy, and it says my defect is 0.92 inches in front, and that is indeed um, uh, right in the center of the weld, but it says I'm 0.57 inches down. So, um, again, let me measure here. I'm about uh, 0 0.425, 0 0.425. This is the front of my wedge, and says my defect is at about uh, 0.92 inches and down about 0.57 so right about here and then let me uh, pull back and when I pull back I'll catch the top we're up about 80% full screen height so we pull back and Right about there, I'm at 6 dB drop, so that is um, at the top 
of my uh it is at the, at the top uh of of that crack the top tip uh, 6 db drop so um it says my defect is 1.32 inches 1.32 puts me right in the middle of the weld and it says it's 0.35 inches down so 0.35 inches down puts me right about here so the difference There's the top of the crack. We draw the crack right here. There's the top of the crack. And here is the bottom of the crack. And I'm reading just about just about uh, 0 0.19 inches. So my through wall 0 0.19 inches is what I'm coming up with by using the second leg moving forward to catch the bottom tip of the crack, pulling back a second leg, catching the top. The delta of that depth is 0.19 inches. So um, I can look at the key and you can see that uh, the technician that did this one came up with about 0.2. So we're right in the ballpark and like this drawing shows, we can capture this um, indication from either side of the weld. There's my center line crack right there. And then over on this side of the weld, I can see it here also, right there. I don't want to get my hand in the way and disrupt it, but right there's my center line crack right here. And let's move over, catch that. But there is a center line crack. Catch it from this side. And I can also catch it from this side. Right there. Get a little more gain. But right there, you can see. See that crack. Very fast. And whoops, I went a little, a little crazy with the gain. But there it is. There's that center line crack on this side. 